Hello, I'm Dr. Chris Martin, and I've traveled to the border of New York State and Quebec to one of the most unusual habitats in all of North America, the Sandstone Pavement Barrens. 12,000 years ago, a glacial lake broke free, came tearing through here, and took everything that was on the surface with it. What we see here is 12,000 years of colonization by the survivors. One of the survivors in the sandstone pavement barrens is this species right here. This is jack pine, or Pinus banksiana. Jack pine has an uncanny ability to not only colonize tough habitats like this, but survive and thrive. The adaptation that comes in handy for jack pine in this kind of habitat is known as serotony. Serotony is something that a number of plants do around the world in that they produce their seeds in one year but don't necessarily release them in that same year. They hold on to them until conditions are right. In the case of jack pine, the condition that would be right would be just following a forest fire. Triggered by fire hot temperatures, the resins are released within those pine cones and the scales open up and release the seeds. There's a pulse after a fire of available nutrients like nitrogen that are one of the things that make it an appropriate time to have your seeds out relative to what the conditions were like before the fire happened. This is what an open jack pine cone looks like. Most of the cones out here are fully serotonous. They will not open without fire hot temperatures, but occasional individuals will open anyway. And this is a way for at least some of the seed to be released within the, the jack pine community, even when there isn't a fire. At a site like this, there probably hasn't been a fire in the last 40 to 50 years. So this is what a fully closed serotonous pine cone looks like in jack pine. All of those scales are very tightly closed with resin, and they will remain that way unless a fire comes through here. So we want to show you how serotony works and how heat opens up cones. It's uh, a little bit uh, below the temperature required today, and we're not about to get a fire going. So we're going to collect a few of these pine cones, and we're going to bring them home. And we're going to try an exercise with an oven that hopefully will show how these serotonous pine cones open with heat and release their seeds. Okay, we've got those pine cones that we collected out of the sandstone pavement barrens. These are unopened jack pine cones. And we are gonna cook these things. How many of you have ever eaten a pine cone before? Anybody? No. no? All right, well, I'm here with some of my junior scientist friends. We're gonna try an experiment that shows something called serotony. How many of you have ever heard serotony before the term? No, nothing? nothing. Well, as it turns out, these pine cones stay closed until a fire comes along. Now, what's on the inside of these pine cones? Seeds. Yeah, there's seeds in here. So until a fire comes through, these won't open up and let their seeds go. Pretty neat, huh? Yeah. All right. Uh, should we start a fire to get these to open? No. Yeah, probably not. What we've done is we've come into your kitchen and your kitchen to try and experiment with an oven. What do you think might happen if we heat up these pine cones? They're gonna open. They're open. They might open, They're that's open. right. Pretty cool, huh? Mm -hmm. So this is the experiment. All right. Now, what we call this, when a plant waits until conditions are really good for seedlings to grow and holds on to its seeds until something happens, we call that Serotony. Can you guys say that? Serotony. Oh, that's uh, pretty impressive. That's good work. All right. So we're going to put these in the oven and cook them, and then you're going to eat one. Uh, All right. Yeah. Well, let's try it out. Okay. So what we're trying to do now is simulate dry, hot temperatures that the tree might have encountered during a forest fire by sticking these things in the oven. In 15 or 20 minutes, we'll see if the seeds have been released and the cones have opened. All right, so now we're just going to pass the time for 15 or 20 minutes while we wait for those cones to open up, if our experiment works. Yes. And what better way to pass time with a bunch of kids than read scientific papers about botany? What do you think, guys? <laughs> yeah, all right, I get it. Alright kids, 
Do they look any different from when we put them in? Yeah. yeah. It looks to me like they opened right up. All right, do you guys see any seeds? No. No? Well, let's check them out a little bit more closely. Every scale on this pine cone has a seed associated with it. So if I go in with these forceps and pull out on that wing, look what I find. A seed. Yeah. Which part is the seed, do you think? That little dark part in there. That's right. So do you see a bunch of seeds in this cone? Yeah. Yeah. Well, those weren't even available to us until we heated it up. So do you think we might have simulated a fire event like that would have happened in nature? Yeah. Yeah. yeah pretty cool. We could spend all day long with this pair of forceps picking seeds out of this cone, but I think there's a way we could do this even quicker. I'm going to fill each of your paper bags with pine cones, and then you're going to shake like crazy. What do you think? All right, let's do it. Hold them open. Say, trick or treat. Trick or treat. Oh, here you go, little kids. These are wonderful treats. Okay, shake them up. Okay, stop. All right, let's see what we have here. Hands out. Oh, what do we have there? Let me see. Seeds. Seeds, seeds indeed. Seeds. All right, if we were out in nature, these seeds would have been released from the cones and they would flitter away to find brand new places to grow and become new trees. So what do you say this spring we go out and we plant some of these? Yeah. Good idea? All right, cool. Thanks for joining us in our exploration of serotony in jack pine. It's a jack of many trades, but it's a master of the barrens. See you next time.